Hello everybody and welcome back to Everything Tech. Today we're clean installing macOS Mojave. Before you get started, you want to make sure you check if your machine is compatible with macOS Mojave. And in previous installation videos that I've done, I always get the question asking if your computer is capable of running macOS Mojave and Apple does uh, offer a support document on that. I will link it down below so you can go ahead and click it and uh, see if your computer is compatible. And yes, I do realize I am a little late to the party and that's mostly because my iMac that I usually use, it barely supports macOS Mojave. So now I have a computer that is able to support it. And you can see here all of the computers that are supported in Mac OS Mojave. So you got all the MacBooks, the MacBook Air Pro, the Mac Mini, iMacs, and all that stuff. And you may want to check to see if your computer is compatible before you get started because you don't want to go through all these steps only to find out it's not compatible. So again, I'll link this down below. And if your computer checks out, everything is all good, we can go ahead and continue with downloading Mac OS Mojave and to do so we just go ahead and jump into our App Store and for the record I mean I'm doing this from Mac OS Sierra um, sure they probably changed the Mac App Store in later versions of Mac OS but just go into your App Store and you should see Mac OS Mojave here go ahead and click that or you can just run a search and it should come up and just go ahead and download it and you are going to need a USB drive or an SD card that is larger than 4 gigabytes, or at least 8 gigabytes in size. And that's because the installer is 6 gigabytes, a little over 6. And you want to make sure you have enough storage on there to go ahead and put that on there. And make sure if you have anything on that USB drive, if you're reusing one, make sure everything's backed up accordingly. And speaking of backups, before we actually proceed with creating or during the process of creating the installer you can go ahead and back up all of the things like documents and photos and everything on your computer that you want to migrate over to the newer version of Mac OS Mojave go ahead and back that up onto a portable hard drive or on the cloud or wherever it is you back up your things because the process of clean installing is going to erase everything off your hard drives. It's going to get rid of all the junk and downloads and everything that you've downloaded over the past. So it's a great way to breathe new life into your computer without spending a dime. I've already downloaded Mac OS Mojave in order to save time. So once you have that downloaded, we can go ahead and start making the installer. So we're going to go ahead and get the code here for, for Terminal. We're going to be doing this through the terminal. And you can hear, you can see here Mojave, and you can see the code. We're going to go ahead and just copy that. So, right click, copy. And we're going to save that for in a little while because we are going to format our SD card. So, we're going to run Disk Utility. And once we have Disk Utility up here, we're going to look for our SD card. And you can see it here. Actually, here it is SD card. And we're going to go ahead and erase this. We're going to be calling it My Volume, and I'll show you why in just a second. So once you call it My Volume, we're going to keep it as Mac OS Extended Journaled, and go ahead and erase it. So once that's erased, and the reason why you want to call it My Volume is because the instruction sheet here indicates that you should name it My Volume because the code here is going to look for a volume with that name. Of course you can always name it whatever you want as long as you change this little portion here of, of the code but keeping it as my volume makes it really easy because again you just copy it and you paste it into terminal. So we're gonna go ahead and bring up terminal and once you bring up your terminal go ahead and paste the code it's gonna ask you for the password and this is the password that you use to unlock your computer. So once you go ahead and put that in, it's going to ask you if you want to continue. Just press the Y, press enter, and let it do its thing. And we're done. It actually took a much shorter amount of time than I anticipated. And it results may vary depending on the speed of your machine. Of course, the computer I have right now is running an SSD versus a standard hard drive. And results will vary depending on the age of your machine. And the same goes for downloading the installer. I forgot to mention this earlier. 
it may take a little longer depending on the speed of your internet so make sure you anticipate that accordingly it may take a while to download if your internet speed isn't fast so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my phone camera so I can show you the process of clean installing uh, because I don't really have anything to capture direct video from HDMI yet but so let's go ahead and jump over into that and before we continue though this is my last warning make sure you back up all of your information accordingly including pictures documents and videos and whatever else you may want saved because after we continue there will be no going back there will be no rescuing data files unless you know how to go back and rescue those files in complicated ways so make sure you back up everything that you want to be backed up because it's going to disappear after we continue with this installation so with that said let's go ahead and jump on over to my camera and I'll show you the rest of the installation from here on out so now that we're absolutely ready to continue with the process of clean installing you can go ahead and restart your computer and we'll get through that to that in just a second I just need to mention this one thing that I did forget to mention. If you do not want to erase any of your files, you can just go ahead and download the Mojave installer and just continue with the upgrade process. And that's going to keep all of your files and all of your data information and whatnot so that it doesn't get erased. But the reason why you may want to clean install is because maybe you haven't done it at all since you got your computer and it may be loaded with a bunch of files that you don't know what they are like uh, other the other category may be taking a lot of space on your computer so you may want to do this I like doing this on occasion so I keep my hard drives nice and clean my computers run nice and fast and with that said let's go ahead and continue so we're gonna go ahead and just go up to the Apple and we're gonna go ahead and restart we don't need to worry about reopening or anything like that so let me go ahead and find my cursor here and we're just going to go ahead and click restart and we're going to hold down the option button once we hear the chime if you don't hear it just press the press the, ch the option key as soon as the screen turns back on because it will turn off like so and it'll turn back on Luckily, my computer still has a chime, but I know that the much newer computers don't. So once you do, if you do it successfully, you should see here Macintosh HD and install macOS Mojave. We're gonna go ahead and use the arrow keys to jump on over to, to install macOS Mojave, and we're gonna hit enter. And we're gonna let the installer load. So I'll be back once it's fully loaded. So after our installer is done loading, you should see a macOS utilities window. And if you've done this in the past, you may be familiar with this window. The first button here allows you to restore from a time machine backup. This one installs macOS. If you need help, you can always get help online. And disk utility. The two buttons we're going to be worrying about today are going to be disk utility and install macOS. And they are in that order. Now, if you decide at this point that you don't want to erase any of your data or any of your information, you can go ahead and just click on install macOS and it'll go with, through the process of installing macOS without deleting any of your files. So this is the point of no return actually. So we're going to be dealing with disk utility, so you go ahead and open that. And once disk utility opens, you should see all of the drives that are connected to your computer. I of course have a USB stick plugged in, I have the installer, and here is the hard drive that stores all of your information and the operating system. So we're going to go ahead and erase this. So we're going to go ahead and click erase. And you can either do macOS extended journaled or APFS. APFS stands for Apple File System. And if your computer has an SSD or a solid state drive, it's better if you do choose APFS versus macOS extended journaled because it does optimize, it's better optimized for storage. So it saves a lot more on storage. But if you're running this on a hard drive, you may want to do macOS extended journal. My computer here has an SSD, so I'm going to be doing APFS. You can always uh, run a quick Google search to see what the difference is between APFS 
and Mac OS Extended Journaled if you do want to read more into that, but that's just a basic rundown. And we're going to go ahead and click Erase. Just wait for it to format. And once you get that little green check, we go ahead and click Done. Go ahead and exit out of Disk Utility and click on Install Mac OS. And we have the installer window. We're going to go ahead and click Continue. Read through the license agreement if you haven't done so. And once you're done, just click Agree and then Agree once more. And next, we're going to click on the hard drive that we want to install Mac OS Mojave to. Of course, we just formatted Macintosh HD, and that's what we're going to do. Click Install, and just let it install. Let it do its thing, and once it starts talking to you, that's when you know you can come back on. And here we are after Mac OS is done installing, and the reason why I said uh, you don't have to worry about anything until it talks to you is because uh, one of the first thing it does as soon as this window comes up is uh, it prompts you about voiceover. So it's like, oh, do you need voiceover? You can go ahead and turn it on this way. And that's usually how I I tell myself, okay, it's time to go, go back to the computer and continue with the installation. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue by picking our region here because I'm in the United States. I'm gonna go ahead and look for the United States. There we go, wait, there you are, United States. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. I do want a US keyboard, although you could select different keyboard by just pick, clicking the show all and you should see all the different keyboards there, but I am going to keep it as US keyboard. And here is where we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi, but I'm going to go ahead and punch in my Wi-Fi password. Next we have our sign in with your Apple ID and you're going to put in your Apple ID email here and then click continue and put in your password and it's going to give you a prompt for a code if you have two-step verification. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and we'll continue with the installation after I'm done with this. Next, we have to agree to the terms and conditions. Again, if you choose to read these or want to read these, uh, you can do so. And then next, we're gonna just go ahead and click on agree. Agree again. And next, we're gonna create an account on our computer here and you can go ahead and put in your full name if you want to. And then the account name. I always like to do my short name from my account name and then also put in your password there. And that's gonna be the password that you use to unlock your computer. And you can put a hint if you like. I usually don't. I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And now it's gonna set up our iCloud. After it's done setting up our iCloud account, it's gonna ask you if you wanna set up iCloud Keychain. I always do that because it saves time trying to remember passwords. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. So next we have Express Setup. So what this does, it allows you to, or it automatically selects certain settings for you so that you can go ahead and get to using your computer. But if you wanna go through these dif different uh, settings and select or deselect certain things you can go ahead and do that i'm gonna do continue just because i don't really uh, mind any of the things that it does so we're gonna go ahead and click continue and now it wants to store all our files in icloud now i don't have an icloud account or a storage upgrade to my icloud account so i still have the basic five gigabytes it's not really worth it for me but if you do have an upgraded memory bank for iCloud, you can go ahead and do that if you wanted to. I'm not gonna do it, so I'm gonna just deselect that box. Click on continue. And now file disk encryption or file vault disk encryption basically encrypts your hard drive so that in case your computer one day gets stolen, they can't uh, try to access your data or your files uh, by trying to access it via plugging in the hard drive into something and allowing them to access your data that way. It's all encrypted. So I always select it just for my own security. And uh, it doesn't, it's not, not intrusive. I'll just go ahead and click continue and you can unlock it with your iCloud account if you so choose. And then new to Mac OS uh, Mojave, you do get to choose between light or dark mode. You select dark mode, you can see there how it changes. I'm gonna go ahead and keep light for now because I like the light theme. I'm not really a big fan of the dark theme on Mac OS, but I may eventually just give it a try and see how I like it. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue. Now, if you do choose to go dark mode, that's fine. It's all about personal preferences. 
And now it's setting up our Mac and we should be able to load into the desktop environment as soon as this window comes out. And there we have it folks, we have successfully installed macOS Mojave on my computer here and you can too if you follow this tutorial. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and leave them down in the, in the comment section. I'll try to get through as much comments as I can. Uh, this semester has been uh, pretty heavy for me, so I haven't really been able to answer all the questions, but hopefully someone out there who is knowledgeable in, in this field may answer the question for me. And if you do answer questions for other people, I thank you for that. I'll leave all the links in the description for how to clean install, the codes you need, and if you want to check your upgrade requirements, everything will be down in the description. And again, thank you for watching, and see you all in the next video.